So now that we've created our gallery, we're going to look at uh, one way that we can um, animate the gallery using an open source, open source code um, available on the web called Lightbox. Um, to get the Lightbox code, um, you're going to open up a browser, and I've already got mine open here, but just uh, open up a browser and search for Lightbox. <clears throat> the first hit that I have here is Lightbox by Lokesh Dakar. It is Lightbox 2. Um, it has been updated since the last time I did this tutorial. So I'm going to download the um, code here. Uh, and also pay attention to the fact you probably want to bookmark this site. Pay attention to the fact that there are good examples here on the site of both two individual images, how they work. Just like so, they pop up in a separate window with a, an exit um, icon. Or uh, you can create a set of images. Um, and actually, this is really cool, and this is what we're going to do. We're going to create a set of images from the images that we've created and the thumbnails that we've created in the previous tutorial. So um, let's go ahead and download Lightbox. I'm going to download it. And I'm just going to hide, Command H on a Mac, hide my browser, and I'm going to Command H, Dreamweaver, um, and find my downloaded um, uh, folder here. So it's actually a zip, zip file. Just going to double click that to open it up. And here is my Lightbox 2 master. And um, just to uh, sort of make a shortcut here, um, the software that we actually want is inside this dist, dist for distribution uh, folder here. And really, all we have to do in order to um, get the JavaScript that we need that makes this work, uh, as well as the CSS and the little icons, the little image icons, um, we need to move these three folders inside the dist uh, folder to our own site. So I've got this open up. I'm going to open up our folder and I'm just going to literally drag it to our root folder. Um, and you should have these three folders inside. There's CSS, there's Lightbox CSS. Uh, there are the four images, close, loading, next, previous, and there's a whole bunch of JavaScript um, files here. So um, now we've got all of the um, individual files that we need available in there. So I'm going to toggle on back to Dreamweaver and open Dreamweaver back up here. And I'm going to make sure that I've got my code window open um, a little bit wider so I can work with it here. And if you look through your HTML code, you can see we've got our <coughs> image gallery images that are in there all start with this href tag. And what I'd like to do is to separate each one of those out so that they all start on a new line. Um, and so right for each new image, I'm going to separate these out so they start on a new line. Now, <clears throat> this is not absolutely necessary to do, but it just makes it a little bit neater um, so that I can see each one of these lines of code. And you notice when you hover over it in um, Dreamweaver that it actually um, shows you which images these um, are. And these are, this is the thumbnail image, for example. Okay, so I've got my code open. I've got my four separate images here. Um, and I am going to um, go back to my browser, back to the Lightbox site here. And um, it says to get started that we want to include the CSS at the top of our page um, in our head tag. So this first line of code we're going to get from the Lightbox page um, is this first line of code here to link to the style sheet. So I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to use Command C. I'm on a Mac. If you're on a PC, use Control C. I'm going to copy it toggle back to Dreamweaver, and we want to put this um, line of code 
immediately below our um, own link to our own style sheet. And this shows you that you can have more than more than one style sheet um, attached to your pages. So we're going to now paste Command V, Control V on a PC, Command V on a Mac. And this part here where it says Path 2 Lightbox CSS, we're going to change that because I don't know if you kept track um, earlier when I copied that folder over, but the folder that the CSS, Lightbox CSS is in is actually dist. Remember it was in the dist folder and inside the dist folder was the CSS folder and that's where the Lightbox CSS is. So when it says path to, you need to put in the path to that file and um, that's the code that you need in here, this, this um, string of code. <clears throat> okay, and we can now refresh again um, and then we're going to toggle back to the um, Lightbox page. And the next thing it says is include the JavaScript at the bottom of your page before closing. So we've got script src path to Lightbox JS. But it says here, just to read on, uh, make sure jQuery, which is required by Lightbox, is also loaded. If you already use jQuery on your page, make sure it is loaded before Lightbox JS. jQuery 1.7 or greater is required. So if you're not running using J, if you're not currently using jQuery, I've created a back packaged file that includes both Lightbox and jQuery. So actually, we do want to use this second line of code. So we're going to copy this first of all, just copy this code, and it's to be, um, it's the JavaScript at the bottom of the page before the closing body tag. So we copy that, and we go down to our code, and before the closing body tag, which is here, we're going to go in, hit return, and paste that line of code. But we want to use the second bit of code, which is actually has the path as well, which is the dist um, slash js slash lightbox plus jQuery.js. And this will cover us regardless of which um, whether we're running uh, um, jQuery or not. So we're going to toggle back and where it has this line of code in there we're going to paste in the new path which is to the distribution folder and the JavaScript folder. Um, we want the Lightbox plus jQuery JS in there. So now that we've got all of the code in there, um, let's toggle back to the Lightbox um, page and see what we have to do next. We've got all the code in there, so we toggle back and it says um, confirm that the four images loaded by Lightbox CSS are in the current location um, and dist images, yes I know we put them in there um, and um, then initialize with HTML. <clears throat> so this is where we actually add the data uh, or the code to access the data lightbox, um, which is going to um, create an animated view of our actual images, not just the thumbnails. Now, this first example is if we want to just do a single image. The second example is um, what we do if we want to actually um, have a gallery or multiple images um, in our lightbox gallery. So we're going to simply go to this second example. We don't need the whole href line because we've already got this with our images in it. We just need this part to activate it, which is this code, data lightbox, and we're going to replace road trip with our own gallery name. And, um, and that's it. We actually just need the data lightbox up to road trip. Um, and put that, got toggle back to Dreamweaver. And now we're going to add that right after the first images gallery image one.jpg. So whatever your image name is, right after that first quotation mark, you're going to paste in the data light box and the name of your gallery. 
and I'm going to change the name of my gallery to Dave's Gallery. And then um, if we scroll across here a little bit, you can see that um, the image SRC shows images gallery image one thumbnail, um, but it's going to open up this image one.jpg. Now, the only other thing that's missing here is we also want to have a caption for our picture in this code. So if we toggle back um, to the Lightbox site, you could see there's another keyword here, data title, my caption. And so if we copy that as well, toggle back to Dreamweaver, we can add that after the data light box, add a space. You can notice here Dreamweaver is trying to give us a hint for the code that we might be looking for, but we are actually pasting it from a website. So I'm just going to paste it in there. So now you see data title equals my caption. And the, this is where you're going to put the caption for each image. So I'm putting a caption here for image one, which is this picture of this um, little boy um, playing with a tennis tennis racket. So I'm going to put in here instead of my caption, Dave plays tennis. And um, everything else looks okay in here. Um, so now that we've added our co code to activate this, um, we're going to go ahead, cross our fingers, and refresh the page. And we're going to preview this and make sure it works before we go on with the rest of our um, uh, of adding the code. So to preview, go to the little globe, click on that. Preview, we want to save this. Yes, indeed. There's our gallery. I click on the image, and sure enough, it pops up with the X sign here. We don't have an arrow because we haven't added the rest of our uh, images for the gallery, but the JavaScript is working as it should. So I can close out of there and I can toggle back to Dreamweaver. And now instead of doing this all over again, I can simply copy that, those two um, activation lines of code here, data light box and data title, um, copy them with the quotation marks and go to my second image here after the quotation mark. I'm going to paste that in and then um, I'm going to change, I'm going to leave Dave's gallery because it's the same gallery that it's in. So that means it's going to open up. But the second image is Dave plays poker. Um, and I think everything else is going to be the same. And then I'm going to go to the next image, paste it in. Uh, and this image is actually of me at Santa Monica. So Dave plays Santa Monica Pier. And then the last one, image four, is me uh, playing guitar. And I'm going to go in there once again. And copy and paste and just change the caption here to Dave plays guitar. Spell it right. And there we have it. So hopefully I did everything that I need to do here and I'm going to once again refresh and preview in the browser. Click Save. I open up Dave. I hover over the image and um, there's an arrow to move on to the next image. So there we go, image two of four, Dave plays poker. And three, Dave plays Santa Monica Pier. And last but not least, plays guitar. So my Lightbox Gallery is working. Um, and the next uh, video, I'm just going to show you how to make these thumbs all look uh, the way that they should look, and finally to fix our links so that all of the pages go to the right place on our site.